morning everybody let me show you what we're working on today we're working on the sprayer um, the last time I sprayed I was in a field and it kind of was chugging on me a little bit hesitating um, I ordered new fuel filters for the thing. We're going to put in some new fuel filters. I have chemical coming sometime this morning. It's supposed to be here. That way we can go and get a few of the fields sprayed that are kind of need some attention right now. And then we should be good for the rest of the summer. I'm hoping. Knock on wood. But we have about 400... I think I figured out about 410 acres that need to be resprayed, and we are going to try and knock that out today because they're talking rain tomorrow afternoon and rain Thursday, I believe. Yeah, something like that. But today's garbage day. I gotta get the garbage out. There, job number one's done. I noticed the neighbors have the, all their garbage cans out, and that's when it clicked. Today's garbage day. Um, I am really getting fat and out of shape. You know, we went on that keto diet a couple years ago, and I slimmed down really good. I felt great. I was, you know, had energy like crazy. And we were reading that it's not really good to be on the keto diet for a long time, and we were on it for almost a year. So we decided to get off of it. Now I've gained all that weight back. I'm fat. I'm out of shape. I don't have the energy I used to, so maybe it's time to go back on it. I don't know. And before we went on the keto diet, I'm six foot one. I weighed 260 pounds. Um, on the keto diet, I slimmed down to 200 pounds even. Um, so I lost 60 pounds. It was great. I felt good um, But I noticed I was losing muscle mass as well as fat So that's why we decided to get off of it and Get that muscle mass built back up and stuff like that and then we just got lazy now I'm back up to 250 so I've gained 50 pounds back and I'm starting to feel it so We just need to get back on the diet again. I'm thinking but at any rate, let's get back to this. Got to put my rubbers on. That way I'm not reeking of diesel fuel all day long. But, got to be honest with you, that's the essence of man, right? Diesel fuel. So, I got my new filters. This takes two fuel filters. Uno. Oh crap, my garbage can is uh, out at the road. Whatever, pick it up later. So, one of them technically, is, they're both water fuel separators, but they're fuel filters. So what we need to do is disconnect that plug. Pops off just that easy. So we'll drain that out. I got a bucket down there. <clears throat> All right, enough of that. This has got a glass bowl on the bottom of it. We're gonna pull this glass bowl off, put it on that one, put it back in. The other one just gets popped in, just like normal. So that I might need I might need a wrench for that, but we can pull this one off, the second one. Ooh, this one's not going to pull off as easy. I'm struggling. There we go. Perfect. Kid friendly, you know. But 
slide that off. These fuel filters honestly are not that old. Um, and I think we may have gotten a slug of bad fuel. Um, but that's just kind of like my opinion. I'm not saying it did happen, but. And because I filled, put these in um, out in the field, I didn't have my marker with me. There we go. So I couldn't write down the hours or the date that I put them on. And once I got back to the farm, I honestly forgot about it. So, but I'm not going to forget to do it now. All right, that one's on. I gotta get a pair of pliers to do this. They're on. <clears throat> that was a little booger. Um, but I was able to get it apart, clean the sediment bowl out of there, and there was some like crap in the sediment bowl. So I was able to get that cleaned out. So hopefully that will fix the problem. I do need to purge the system and prime it, but I also need to check to see how many hours are on this machine so I can write it on that filter so I know when I changed it. Um, but this is kind of a self priming system. So all we do is turn the key on and wait for the fuel pump to turn off. I shut the key off, give it a couple minutes. I turn it back on, let the system prime again till the fuel pump shuts off. I do that three times. You probably don't need to do it that many times, but I personally do it three times and she'll start right up and without a hitch. So you guys don't know this, and I've been kind of keeping this under wraps for a little while, but a couple weeks ago I received an email just out of the blue from the vice president of sales from SuperClean. And he emailed me and said that, you know, he has watched our, my channel and he says that I could really use some of their products and if I was willing to, they would send to me some of their products to use and I could do a video on it and kind of review it and see what I thought. Um, so right now I went ahead and told them, yeah, I sent them my address and everything and they're sending me, you know, a care package. But I found out I could buy the stuff locally and I just couldn't wait. Most of you all know I use just dirt from the floor to clean up the mess. I spread it, that's my floor floor cleaner but so I went out and I bought some of this the super clean floor absorbent and I gotta say I'm actually kind of impressed like right here I spilled the diesel fuel so I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on there and let that do its job and then sweep it up and see show you guys how well it works all right it's been a little bit um, I think on the directions it says spread it on there for a few minutes and then sweep it up. It's actually been like an hour and maybe an hour and a half because um, I've been got busy doing some other stuff. So let's sweep it up and see how clean it gets. It's dry, um, the floor is kind of stained, but the floor is always stained. So I'm not saying I love it, but I don't hate it either. I mean, it, it did the job, it, it absorbed the moisture. So not bad, I will give it that, it did work. We'll try it on some more stuff. And I know it's what it's designed for is just to absorb the liquid. It's not necessarily going to get the floor clean. I get it. So, all right, I'm still waiting for my delivery of chemical. I'm getting kind of agitated right now because they've got rain coming. 
and I wanted to get some spraying done before the rain gets here. But I don't know where my chemical is. So I have enough spray on the sprayer right now to spray one field. So I think I'm going to go spray that one field and hopefully my chemical will show up by the time I'm done with that. I don't know what that was all about, but they were flying really low. I got to show you guys this. Right here is where um, I spilled that diesel fuel earlier and put the um, floor cleaner on it. It's all dried up. I'm impressed. So, yeah. The super clean floor absorbent actually does work, I guess. I'm, uh, I like it. I might be getting some more of that. All right, we did get a spot of rain. Did that make me sound British? Anyway, um, I'm going to go look at the fields that we need to spray and see how muddy those fields are because that field that I sprayed earlier, it was, it was right there. Like, it was a little gushy in a few spots, um, but I was able to get in there, and where we need to spray is in Oakland County, 10 miles from here, and they get, they actually do get different weather than we do, so we got a few sprinkles here, enough to kind of slow us down a little bit, but over there could have got dumped on, so I'm going to go check that to see how wet the fields are and determine my next... The next thing I'm going to do, I guess. I am beginning to get frustrated. My chemical's still not here. Um, and they are saying they can't deliver it. Um, so, I've been calling around to try and find chemicals somewhere else. And I'm having a tough time finding it. Because of how late it is in the year. Um, not a lot of people are stocking it. So, I guess I'm just going to continue making phone calls until we can find what we need. My frustrations have hit their limit. So, I'm saying the heck with it. I'm going home for right now. And get on the computer and see if I can find something on the computer. So, I'm going to call this video a wrap, I guess, and we'll start fresh tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.